My name is Lucas Hogan. I'm a PhD student at the University of Auckland, and I shake bridges. When a bridge is shaken during an earthquake, its response is dependent upon not only its structural characteristics, but also the properties of its foundation and the surrounding soil. This behavior is very difficult to study in a laboratory setting since most bridges don't fit indoors. Therefore, we have to take the lab to the bridge using a process called system identification. System identification is a way to determine dynamic properties of real-world systems. It is performed in three stages. First, you put a structure in motion using some excitation source, then the response motion of that structure is recorded, and finally you extract the dynamic property that you are interested in from that recorded response. In this study, the excitation source used was an eccentric mass shaker attached to the bridge deck. The shaker produces a lateral force by rotating two wheels with unbalanced loads in opposite directions. When the weights line up, their centrifugal forces add together. When they are opposite, their forces cancel, thereby transferring rotational motion into a unilateral force. The bridge response was recorded using two types of accelerometers. The first type were highly sensitive sensors wired to a data acquisition system and allowed the bridge response to be monitored during testing. The second type were inexpensive wireless accelerometers similar to those found in smartphones. Because these required no connection to the data acquisition system, they could be installed quickly and they're low cost, but they could be placed in many locations on the bridge deck, piers, and abutments. For these tests, the dynamic property of interest were the natural periods and mode shapes of the bridges. These were extracted from the test data using a program developed at the University of Auckland called the Modal Property Identification Toolbox, or MPIT. MPIT extracts modal properties using up to five different system identification algorithms and provides a user-friendly method to determine dynamic properties from acceleration records. The natural periods and mode shapes extracted from the bridge tests will be used along with soil investigations to create computational models of the bridge and will allow for a detailed investigation of how bridge structural components and foundations interact with the surrounding soil. If you would like any further information about this project, please feel free to contact me at the address below.